Hi everybody, hope you're all well. The nights are drawing in. I've actually got these lights on and uh, I mean, if they're flickering, I will try and edit that out. But I'm, I don't know until I've actually gone to the editing thingy majiggy. Um, so yeah, uh, the lights are, yeah, it's not bright daylight unfortunately and dinner needs to be cooked. And funnily enough, um, thank you so much for your suggestions with, with what to do with the pumpkin flesh uh, that you sort of replied on my carving pumpkin thing and thanks for your comments on that that's really lovely uh, I did enjoy doing that I really did and that was a bigger challenge than I've ever done before so uh, I and I love Arthur Rackham I really do it, that was one of my childhood books I used to copy him his artwork when I was a kid um, I do I do my best anyway anyway um, yeah so I had pumpkin left over and I thought well we were gonna have a curry tonight and I thought this pumpkin would be brilliant for that um, okay, yeah, I'm going to show you the ingredients in a minute. Um, yeah, uh, but what I did want to say was I will be announcing when the the, the, the giveaway is um, very, very soon. It will be alive and, and I'm catching up with the emails. It's going to be on a Friday evening, so I'm not sure whether it's going to be... Uh, yeah, I, I will, I'll put it on the community page. Anyway, let's get back to this. Um, come and have a look at the ingredients. So it does look quite a lot, but really it's quite simple. Um, there's onion, uh, that's chicken, but this would make a perfect um, veggie curry. So if you just omit the chicken, you've got yourself a, a lentil pumpk and pumpkin um, uh, curry. I, I'm going to be throwing in some spinach at the end for myself because I, I love spinach, but the, I'm going to serve the boys up before I do that. So I've got ginger, garlic, uh, tomato paste. That's some lemon juice to squeeze um, near the end. The lentils, onion, or coconut milk. Um, but yogurt or um, or cream would be equally good. But this is what I've got in the cupboard. This is a little bit of a hodgepodge of what I've got in the house. A tin of tomatoes, um, coconut oil to, to start off the frying and Tikka, well, it doesn't have to be tandoori masala. What you you know, um, you might have curry powder. Um, this is very adaptable. I will put a link to the original um, recipe that I found because it didn't include the chicken. But I need to. This needs to be cooked. It's um, it, it's it has to be it today. So it was perfect for us. So I'm going to start off by frying the coconut oil, frying off the chicken. And then taking the chicken out. Oh, I'm doing it in the 11 in 1 as well. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we're just going to just cook off the chicken first and then throw in the, the veggie bits and let them cook and then throw it back, throw back that, the chicken, and then the, the spicy. Because I have to mix this. This is like a paste. I put a tablespoon or two tablespoons. It's, it's a very much, however... You know, you adjust to your own, what you you fancy, and add water. And then I'll throw it in when I'm cooking the pumpkin and lentils with water and the tomatoes. Anyway, we'll see, we'll see. I am um, definitely warbling, so let's get cracking and start cooking. So I'm just going to add the coconut oil. I mean, you could use normal oil or butter or ghee, um, you know, whatever you might have here in the cupboard. I've actually, this coconut oil I've had in my cupboard for months, so I just thought, the recipe said coconut oil, I'm gonna go with that. And I will add the chicken in a minute, I'm just gonna let that melt. So I'm gonna add the chicken. I have seasoned this with uh, um, salt and pepper. And I've, um, it's on sear saute at four at the moment just to get this chicken cooked. I normally use three, two and three on my most, you know, nearly all the time. So I've just turned it down to two while I extract the chicken. I kind of use this, it's quite useful. The spaghetti, uh, what you call it. So I'm just going to extract the chicken and then I'm going to throw in the, the um, uh, onion and then the other veg and sort of I'm going to sort out the tandoori masala paste 
while the onion's frying. Onion, pumpkin, and lentil. I'll add the lentils after the um, the onion and the pumpkin have fried off a little bit. And all of it. So I'll just keep these to the side. Add the onion. I'm going to turn it up to three. Add in the pumpkin. And I'm going to add the garlic and the um, ginger, not the tomato paste yet. It's still on three. I might turn it down to two just for the moment because it's quite ferocious. Just add in the lentils. smells absolutely delicious already it really is I haven't even added the spice part I'll just turn it back up to three and I will be adding the chicken soon I'm just gonna let the lentils fry off for a little bit uh, before I add the chicken and then I'll add the um, the uh, sticker masala paste Tikka masala, tandoori masala, which I don't know, I think that's one and the same thing, I think. Just going to squeeze some lemon in. Oh, it smells good. Add the chicken. Tomato puree. Whoops. <laughs> and the um, curry paste. So I've just added the um, tin of tomatoes. Um, I forgot I was on time lapse, so that would uh, was would not translate. I'm going to add half a can of um, coconut milk. So I'm just going to pour it in as is, and then I'm just going to let this cook on on sear saute two while I kind of get the rice ready. It really smells absolutely delicious, and I've. I was really tempted to add the spinach leaves, but I'm not sure the boys would like that. So I'm going to add the spinach leaves for myself later, but you know, near the end. Um, yeah, that's looking all right to me. That's looking really good. It's quite dark. I'm, hopefully I'm going to lighten this in the editing, but it's looking really lovely. So I'm going to let that cook. Um, I'll be back with it all plated up. I'm going to let it cook for a good 20 plus minutes. So I'll be back in a tick. See you in a bit. Right, four um, meals um, with a pumpkin curry, pumpkin and lentil curry with chicken thrown in. I'm really pleased. I absolutely, I threw in, so I let it cook for 30 minutes. I tested the pumpkin and tested the red lentils to make sure the red lentils were cooked. Um, so 30 plus 30 ish minutes I'd definitely recommend testing the red lentils because they take a little while to cook uh, and I threw in the spinach at the very end uh, and I'm really pleased with that because they just took three three or four minutes to, to wilt um, so yeah I'm going to serve up but then we'll be back for a taste test see you in a minute oh pumpkin soup aka lots of other stuff as well 
Mm, I think I'll definitely make this again. Um, obviously, without the pumpkins because they're seasonal, but um, butternut squash, definitely. And if you're a veggie, just omit the um, the uh, oh, chicken. <laughs> I've got to taste it. Got to taste it. Oh. Actually, my mouth is watering for real. Mm. It's hot, creamy. Oh, the coconut milk. I actually ended up putting the whole tin in, in fact. Oh, I really like the spinach thrown in. I really would love to make sagaloo one of these days. That's one of my favourites. But that's that's I really like that in this in this curry. This is this is delicious, really delicious. I'm so glad I made pumpkin curry with all the rest of it. Mm. Oh, that's absolutely delicious. I love that tandoori masala spice mix. I, I absolutely, it's one of my favourites. And I often make that with chicken and red peppers. But this is a perfect, um, the lentils and the, the pumpkin, aka butternut squash. And Mwah, really lovely. I'm gonna go join the family. Let's just do a mm, thumbnail. <sighs> what a wally. I'm gonna join the family and uh, finish my dinner. Um, thanks everybody for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye.